So we are going to look at uh, question 5 of the 2022 uh, paper 2 GCE um, mathematics. Uh, so this question is uh, on construction. Uh, so before we start answering this question, or let me say practicing, um, it's important that you have uh, things like uh, a meter rule, a compass, a, pro a protractor, and of course a pencil, eraser, so on and so forth. And it's advisable that you use pencil throughout so that if you make a mistake it'd be very easy for you to to do some, I mean to make some corrections. Okay, so uh, myself I'm going to use a pencil or something. Of course I'll, some, I'll use something close to that. Uh, it's, it's similar to what we are going to use, just that um, um, yeah, you'll see anyway. Okay, so uh, the question that we have uh, says uh, we have question A, B, C and D. Uh, it carries uh, all the question together, they carry a total of eight marks and um, it's important that we do the best we can to make sure that we get all the marks. Okay, so question one is asking us to construct a triangle KLM in which KL is 11 centimeters, then angle LKM is 70 deg degrees and angle KLM is uh, 50 degrees. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is uh, to put up the the 11 centimeters which is for uh, KL. Okay, so this is uh, my, my, my rule here. I can extend it if I want to as far as I want it to go. So all I need is just uh, 11 centimeters from this so, of course, I'm going to start at zero. Okay, I'm going to start at zero there, up to eleven here, like that. Okay, that is okay, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring it back afterwards. So uh, we are going to name this side to be um, to be our K. Okay then this side to be our L. Then we are told that the angle LKM, so meaning from L to K, then maybe M somewhere here, like the angle that we have here is 70 uh, degrees and we have to indicate that. So I will need a protractor for that one. And here's my protractor here. Okay. So I'll put it right here. So it's uh, one thing about using a protractor is uh, it's interesting, but you have to make sure to say this point here, okay, this line that you have here, it's at exactly the end of the line on which you want to put the angle. Then if the angle is be below 90 degrees, you can use, you can start from this side up to 90 degrees. If the angle is, uh, let's say it's above um, 90 degrees, and again, I'm saying below 90 degrees because I'm planning to put my M somewhere here. If I was planning to put my M on somewhere this side, I'm going to start from this side counting until I reach what? Until I reach 70. But again, I don't really have to start counting one by one. I can see that my 70 is somewhere here. So meaning 70 is equivalent to 110. Okay, so we're going to put our, our, our 70 somewhere here. I'm just going to put a mark, just a small mark on 70 like that. Then, um, can put this aside, I'll need it again. Then I can put up a line from this end here on my K to what? Uh, passing through that point that we have put there, that dots that we have put on that. Then I can bring back the protractor because I'll need to use it of course. Okay, so now we are told that again angle KLM okay, is 50 degrees. So now this tells us that from K to L then to M. What we have here is supposed to be 50 degrees. So we have to come up with a 50 degrees and 50 degrees is equivalent to what? To 130. So it's somewhere there. Okay, so this can go. I don't think we need it anymore. Okay, so from L we have to pass, uh, we have to pass through uh, this point here. Okay, Okay, there we have it. That's the triangle that uh, that we are looking for. 
uh, which is angle K L M okay and, and I can indicate here to be to be what uh, that's our M right there this is our M at that point then um, what follows is um, we have to measure and write the length LM like from L to M or from M to L which is one and the same thing so I can get my my meter rule then uh, of course I can rotate it like that then just slide it a bit starting from M there which is 0 so according to what I'm getting um, this is appearing to be something like 12.2 uh, centimeters that is 12.2 um, centimeters you might get something that's a bit different it depends on um, the type of instruments that you are using and again I'm talking about in terms of a pencil if your pencil is too sharp maybe mine is not too sharp we it's obvious we're going to get some slight uh, differences but of course if other maybe maybe yours maybe just 12.1 or maybe 12.3 at least we have that kind of uh, precision there then uh, what follows we have answered question a1 and a11 and a and a2 so that guarantees us two marks just two marks so it's very important that when when you look at these questions each of them is carrying one mark like for the first part here is carrying one mark so it's important that you do the best you can so that at least you get all the marks because like imagine you don't do things according like up to perfection you're going to lose like if it's two marks someone maybe can deduct a mark but if it's one mark they deduct maybe 0 0.5 like we have 0 0.5 that is way too low and um, it's very important that you try to uh, uh, keep a lot of marks to yourself as much as you can okay so we go to question B question B is saying on your diagram within triangle KLM and it's important here it's the diagram that we have is a triangle but within the triangle which is KLM we have to construct the locus of points that are first of all equidistant from K from K and L uh, then uh, the second one is three centimeters from KL and uh, eight centimeters from um, from K okay so we have to look for the, the we have to we have to construct the locus uh, that is that is equidistant from K and L so it's just more like the midpoint of, of uh, KL of course we know to say since KL is 11 it's obvious the middle point is 5.5 but we can just use that method to uh, come up with that um, we have to use something that is a bit different of course we have to use our compass okay so I might be doing a lot some rubbing in terms of the axe that I'm going to be making uh, the axe are just to help me um, to just to help me and to, to, to show me where um, I'm supposed to put an arc or here and there but I'll, I'll be erasing them afterwards so I'm going to extend that a bit okay so what you do is that this this right here is my compass you have your own compass I believe so you have to open your compass to more than half of what of line of line KL then you can pin your compass starting from one point let me say I pin my compass at point K okay I point K there okay let me reduce it just a bit maybe six is better make it 6.5 okay so I, I'll pin my compass at K there then I'll put an arc so it's up to you how you're going to put the arc I'm going to put an arc more like I want to put a circle but as I said I'm going to erase it so no big deal okay so something like that okay then I'm going to pick my compass without changing the uh, without disturbing the radius okay I'm going to pin it at K I have to pin it sorry not K but L I 
pin it at L, then I do the same. Okay, something like that. So now, the, the thing here is we have to draw a line that is passing through these where these two uh, arcs are inter intersecting. Okay, so we ha that, is, should, that's, that line should be a straight line, by the way. Okay, so I, I can start from this point. It might not really be as perfect because um, I'm not using like my own hands, like and ho me holding the compass. Yeah, so that's the line that we have that we have put there. Okay, so uh, for convenience's sake, and so that I, uh, my work that doesn't appear dead, I'm going to have to remove this. Okay, and that has to go. And what I'll do is that I can erase this part because I don't need it. I just need uh, the inside part. Okay, something like that. Okay, then what follows? What follows is that uh, we are saying uh, we have to draw the we have to const construct the locus of points that are um, the second one is asking us for three centimeters from KL. So that line that we have to put it has to be three centimeters from this line. It basically means it has to, it has to be, be up somewhere here, and that line should be parallel to KL. What parallel lines are that? There are those lines that do not meet something like that. So it has it has to be up here. And it has to be three centimeters above KL. So how do we do it? You can use your compass, of course. So I'll get my compass. Then you can observe that on my compass here, I can re I can give it any distance that I like. So I'm going, I'm going to reduce it to what? To let me just bring it here in advance. Okay. Remember, if you can observe, this is now at seven point three, seven point. This is eight. I have to reduce it to what? To three. So that is 3.5, 3.4, 3.3, 3.2, 3.1, 3.0, which is what? Which is the three that we are looking for, okay? So I'll bring my compass and put it in, at any point along the line K. I decide to put it on the end points, which is L and K. So where it is here, I'll have to put an arc. Well, you can just draw a circle for convenience's sake if you want. But I'll have to draw something like, uh, let's say I'll start from here. Something like that. Then without disturbing the, uh, without disturbing the compass, I'll pick it. Okay, this is appearing to be a bit difficult to pick anyway. Okay, let me pick it like that. I then I pin it at point K, like that. Then I can reduce it now to the three that I'm supposed to use. That's 3.6, now 3.0, like that. Okay, then I do that. So now the idea is, these uh, semicircles, more like okay, kind of circles that I've put, they are three centimeters uh, in terms of the the radius. So I can just put up a line that passes on top here and here. Okay, so that should be a straight line, and that's going to be a parallel line. So how I put it, that would be a bit tricky. Wow. Okay, that's better. Not really perfect, but at least it's something close to what we are looking for. So I can get rid of that, and I can as well get rid of that. Then I'll get my eraser and put that one out. But as remember, as you do this, try to make sure that your pencil is sharp so that it will be very easy for you to erase. Okay. Then what follows is that uh, uh, you are saying eight centimeters from K. So eight centimeters from K. What it means is that we need to open our compass to eight centimeters. Okay, that is 7.6, that's 8, uh, wait a minute, okay, that's 8 right there. So what it means here is that 
we have to do it we have to do it like this something like that better okay so I can now say bye bye to my compass if I need it I'll have to bring it back and that's what I have so now we are done with part B that is three marks making five marks together with the first two questions uh, me with the first two marks from question uh, five one okay so remember it's just one mark one mark one mark this appears to say these the people who are giving these marks marks are stingy but we'll try to get the marks because they are easy for us I believe okay so now we go to point C I mean to question C uh, 5c uh, is saying a point X within triangle KLM is such that it is 3 centimeters from KL and 8 centimeters from K okay 3 centimeters from KL so now when you're saying 3 centimeters from the K from KL we are descri describing this line here that we have um, we are describing this line that we put here that is 3, three centimeters from KL um, and 8 centimeters from K 8 centimeters from K is this arc that we put there so it's more like we are looking for the intersection between of these two which is somewhere here so this is where our X is okay then we go to question D which is uh, the last question of question 5 so it's saying another point Y is such that it is nearer to L than to k so what it is here is that this line that we have put here it will, it will act as like the separation between k and l so we are saying it is nearer to l than to k so it is somewhere this side we can ignore this side okay uh, it is nearer to l than to k greater than or equal to three centimeters from k so it needs to be greater than or equal to what this line that we have put here so the considering the fact that it is looking at this line that is acting as a boundary it is this side but again we are told that is greater than or equal to this line which is three centimeters so meaning it, it would it would be where somewhere here so let me cancel out the ones that are not uh, part of so this one is not really part of like canceling that one let me do this I cancel that one I also cancel this one it's not part of so what is remaining is this one here but is it all of it let's find out we are told that it's uh, greater than or equal to, to uh, 3 centimeters from KL and less than or equal to 8 centimeters from K so remember this arc here is what in indicates 8 centimeters from K but we are told that it is less than or equal to so anything going this side is see, uh, greater than okay greater than then anything going this side is uh, less than so what it means is that um, the region that we are talking about and the question is saying indicate clearly by by shading the region in which y must lie so we are looking for where uh, y must lie okay so let me shade using green so this is the region that we are talking about right here So this region here is the one where you are going to have what? Where you are going to have your Y. But of course when you are doing it yourself, try to, since you are using pencil, you are going to indicate your Y inside like that. And that's how you simply answer uh, such a question. And the way you have answered this question is the same pattern that you can that you can use to answer other questions as well. We just have to follow everything step by step. Know how to use your compass and more especially the protractor as well know how to uh, use the protractor like know how to use which no no know when to pick which know how to pick angles when do you pick angles less than 90 and how do you how do you put them when know when you pick angles greater than uh, 19 know why you are doing what you're doing so uh, basically that's how we answer this question from the uh, 2022 GCE paper that is mathematics paper 2 and this was of course uh, question 5 um, that would be all for this video um, thank you very much for 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 watching and in case maybe these uh, you have any uh, qu uh, queries you can leave it down there in the comment section and we'll try to attend to it uh, in the quickest time possible thank you very much for watching once again